Hey guys, it's me Yuki Place, and today I show you the build of the Holy Arrow. A uh, shotgun, optical shotgun, and there's only one drop location where you can get it. Not many use it, but some on Discord asked me to make a build of it. So here I am. We're gonna test it build and see how good it is. And the weapon I'm talking about is this one. It's only available on DLC 4, so think about that. You need to buy DLC 4, what is also the most recommended DLC to buy because there are a lot of weapons. So, yeah, DLC 4, you can get this. And where you can get this, I will show you now. Alright, guys, you're gonna teleport here to the Meteorological Institute ru ruins, but here in the middle. If you already did it, then there's a teleporter in the middle, and then you go there, then you land here. And when you land here, There's this golden drone up there, as you can see, and he's gonna drop the holy arrow. That's the only drop you can get, and will take some time. So if you kill it, you get it. I got an epic one, but I also don't have any colonists on me, so... But yeah, here's the way you can get it. Good luck with this one. Alright, if you managed to farm a legendary one, then congratulations. I'm going to show you now my stats, my equipment, my chips and gadgets, all that. What matters. And this are my stats. You're gonna put 152 strength because I'm gonna dual wield it. Why I'm dual wielding it is because it doesn't have much strength. So I, I thought like, alright, then let's dual wield it only 7 72 strength and we do more damage like that then we have only 32 vitality because of the human fortress we need the human fortress so we don't flinch then we have the intelligence 231 for the buffs for the especially for the defense field that needs 231 intelligence so always keep your intelligence 231 then we have max agility for the defense and for the speed and we have max dex for the critical damage also for the weak spot damage one of the most important decks uh, was <laughs> one of the most important stats in this game then we put the rest in luck why in luck this weapon is a crit weapon so you want as much luck as possible all right and then the skills I'm using is Power Feature Shot 4, Guard Feature Shot 4, of course, the most important buffs in this game. Then we have Speed Form 4, so we can run faster, then we have Human Fortress 1, so we don't flinch and can regenerate with ease. Then we have Skill, free skill Freeze Shot 4, Viral Shot 4, so we can Skill Freeze the human enemies like Asna, Livre and Kirito. So they're not problems in the co-op. Also offline is okay when you fight against humans. Then we have Viral Shot for a debuff that decreases enemies attack and defense by 30%. Also very important. And also only available in DLC 4. So if you farm this weapon in DLC 4 you also should farm or should get skill free shots and Viral Shot. If you don't have that, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put power brick shot and armor brick shot. But it only has 25% debuff, both of it. So if you see someone has virus shot 4 and he uses it on an enemy, don't use the brick shots, please, because then you override it and you do lesser damage to him. And he's stronger. So, just a reminder. Then we have Conceal 4, of course, so the enemies don't detect us and can see us until we run, get close to them, or shoot at them. Then we have Hyper Awareness, just in case. 
so I don't die. But sometimes when it's laggy or you go in a, in a corp lobby and it's lagging, hyper awareness doesn't work that well. So the only thing we can do is shield matrix one and hope it works. I know shield matrix one doesn't heal you, but it can save you and that's what counts. Especially against Kokidos, I won't use hyper awareness, I will use shield matrix. Alright, for the gadgets I use the usual, the first aid kit the anti emit kit the anti air veil and the stun trap. Yep, the most common one. I mostly use that, except is it sword or I do any challenge videos or something. But yeah, those are the usuals for me. Now my equipment. I use a pistol only for buffs, you can use any pistol you like. For me, I use the Ordinary Ray because this Ordinary Ray can also stun the enemies and also the stun trap is stronger because of my debuff stacking chip here. So I use this pistol. What pistol you use is up to you and it's your choice. Then we have the main weapon, the Holy Arrow. What I have is Optical Attack, Weak Spot Damage, Damage vs Max and Damage at Max HP. Bounty chips and as you can see this weapon for shotgun base doesn't have a lot of power as you can see optical power is just barely uh, let's say 2000 but since it's a crit shotgun it's actually very strong so we will see how it is in co-op later but the rest of my chips are auto reload rate of course so we don't have to reload weapon attack a bit, a bit more power then we have the critical rate and critical damage there um yeah then for the accessories just a reminder for the accessories you don't actually have to have the exact same accessories that i have that's the that's the good thing about build making you can have any accessory you like you can play with this build around if you like if you have a better accessory than I have then put it in if you want to test something then put it in it's up to you but I have I have luck plus 30 dex plus 30 HP recovery and HP recovery over time so I regenerate faster and here again but with avoid instant death when HP is 10% or more so I don't get one hit so what accessory you put on is up to you just same and this is the build <laughs> um yeah it's actually f fun to play with so try it out yourself if you have dlc4 if you don't have dlc4 then i recommend you buy it and if you don't then just watch this video and see how good the weapon really is it's up to you so i'm going to co-op mostly i do my own room since the lags and no one's playing but yeah, if you don't want to see that, then you can skip it here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. But for the people that want to see it, we're going to co-op now. So see you there. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Special invitation better. Let's test how good the weapon is. The only thing I'm afraid of is of Itsuki. If he debuffs me or skill freeze me, then I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna survive that. But we will see. The good thing is body shots also very powerful. A very fun weapon you can play around with. Look at the power of this thing. But those enemies are just under leveled yet. I know, I know that. The real test will be the the queen.
crit is the answer to this weapon. It's the crit is just so powerful. Or can I get him? Can I get him from here? No, he's too far away. Oh! There you go, that's what I wanted. Let's surprise him. He's gonna do a 180. Yeah, there we go. Oh god, the lag. Let's defeat him like that. Alright. Now let's do this. And I forgot someone here. Also, I quit so much that I have weapon art here too. The first thing you want to do is... Skill freezing Itsuki, yeah. Also, if you didn't realize, if you when you use hyper awareness, the enemies don't know where you are for a second or so. So if you use that, they they drop their weapons and they don't know where you are. Also, a good thing to remember that. Third so problems, just hyper awareness them. They don't know where you are, you can shoot at them. <laughs> oh my god, this is so fun. A very good weapon though. I have fun with this one. Yeah. And as you said, our body shots also very dangerous. And they're always flinching because of the crit. Very good weapon. I recommend you try it out. Oh, wrong weapon. Okay, they know that, that I'm here. Okay, this section here snows. Oh god, no, 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 no. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. That was my bad. I should have done it like this. Then I had no problems here. And then this guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Would we back? Let's do it. Oh no, he used that. Oh god. I should probably have recorded that one. <laughs> Tired. Alright, only two now. But they are both annoying right now. I'm so happy that he didn't hit me. 
All right, no. No, stay still. Oh, he's so annoying, man. Die. Finally! Man, was he annoying. Was he annoying. Alright. Now let's end this. Okay, leave us that. She was about to shoot. Look at the damage of this thing. The holy arrow is very good. I like it. Let's try to stun her again. Alright, I'm in danger, I'm in danger. Alright, I slightly did it. But this shall be easy. This shall be easy. He has no chance. I'm in danger again, but just walk here in the corner and nothing happens no debuffs for me and she's dead easy as that nice weapon just can recommend it Alright guys, and that was the build and the video. I hope you liked this weapon as much as I did and yeah, <laughs> nothing much to say, it's just a great weapon. So I hope I already said that. <laughs> Sorry, I sometimes I don't know what I have to say. Well that's the video guys. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.